Well well we were running a test open to one of the biggest batch comparisons of the year got both new OnePlus 8 series fittings the iPhone we've got some success 20 Ultra and will always be fully pro safe for the people these the absolute best friends we'll see till September later this year now none of these finds have alarmingly small batteries is a good start the smallest capacity has to go to the iPhone with 3969 million powers with only OnePlus sitting a little ahead of that and Samsung with a tank of a 5000 amp power cell at the top just finished playing a game for 10 minutes knowing open resume which is a pretty popular video calling up at the moment safe in a sense of the meeting on one phone and join in with the other four friends list sentence I didn't think I'd be saying we do have massive variation is in displays this size difference sure DS20 Ultra is an enormous phone but even more significant than that is the difference in refresh rates offense here is that to the default screen settings which is what makes people use them on that means different things for different phones some will run at 60 hertz refresh rate some on 90 and some will run a 120 frames per second i get a lot of comments about this things like you should set them all to the same 60 hertz refresh rate to make it fair but you can remember if you're buying a 120 hertz or 90 hertz phone possibly painful is the experience of using those higher refresh rate panels and when you combine that with the fact that by default to the small Smallest fence set to I think the current settings how 90% of people will use each of these veterans bringing things back to the test for second you probably noticed we've been on Instagram for a while now so what I've done part way through is kicked it up a notch by starting a screen recording on each phone while doing it in times of the screen resolutions the one is a program for Satan Samsung dental intending to be fallible small and hallway shop actually can't come down to 10 horsepower okay but there's more to the story than just display panels these fans have suit with mentioning his chipsets almost every flexion android phone this year will run on the snapdragon 865 chip suit best when you see in both oneplus phones and the samsung i put this in a video but something does also have an x enough variance but seeing as the snapdragon is the better performing version this year it's the one i'll be using hallway and apple to the any companies that both use their own in-house chipsets which might in theory mean they can optimize battery even more we'll find out so far at least that does appear to be working guy for necessity in the lead with Samsung and Huawei pretty closely following it behind both new OnePlus phones new performing amazingly safe is that she quite an interesting result just between the two one I was surprised a pros head told a friend of a bigger battery yes but Bailey and you kind of think that is 120 Hertz refresh rate would suck a local factory than the 90 on the known profound but I think I know the culprit attends all the normal lymphocytes comes in older lpddl 4 x ram which is quite a bit less power efficient than the lpd the l5 seat on the probe spent a lot of high in 2020 flagships in terms of what we doing on the phones now we're on twitch which is a live streaming app that i barely ever used and motherless held that the one plus eight series reach now 35 percent battery left couple things to bear in mind is to older with these battery tests i can't possibly factor the battery that you lose when your phone is on standby in a normal day to try and compensate for that I've made is slightly more intense versus a normal day of use and so it's nearly been 4 hours and I would consider friend the last 5 hours to have good battery life that's always the benchmark I use is actually more impressive to me right now though is how will the iPhone on the S20 Ultra doing the last time I did a battery test on the S20 Ultra I was using the Axonals version of the phone because that's when you get here but already I can see that the Snapdragon is performing far better and the iPhone while it may be from the front with its fickle borders and is not sure it is starting to look a little dated versus the others its battery life is just phenomenal and I would argue that's more important okay we've just passed the 5 hour mark suit warmest is a commemorative treat to these friends we're moving to slightly like to test which is based each player for a GP video using the phone's internal video players and now from one of the lightest tasks you can join your phone begin to swing straight to one of the heaviest we can open up the camera and start recording 4k video on each firm this can really push them to their limits and they gonna lose a lot of battery very quickly interesting to note at this point is that while towards the start of the test that Wally was doing incredibly well considering it doesn't have the biggest battery and it has a 
high refresh rate display it's now come more into line with the Windows 8 Pro sitting almost exactly the same level OnePlus 8 is pretty much just about to die to the same time we're well into the 6 hour mark so in my books this is good battery life. But I'm kinda curious now if you were given a smartphone that could go all the way up to insanely sharp quantity steepest reservation and it could go up to an incredibly fast 120Hz refresh rate what setting would you put on would you put on the absolute best display settings but think it was battery life or would you find some sort of compromise or would you just put on low resolution and low refresh rate maximum battery it's interesting question because taking a look at the Galaxy S20 Ultra Buffet is on track right now to have an exceptional score in this test and that is with its demanding 120Hz refresh rate on if you took it off if you set this phone to just as normal 1080p resolution and 60Hz you will be looking at 9 even 10 hours of continuous screen on time which is just off the charts but then at that stage doesn't matter if you're going to get through a day anyway then would you rather does have a slightly better viewing experience limited bringing this back to the test you can see we're about to have two casualties but one plus your biopsy is going to cling on to this one percent figure for really long time this could be a purposeful decision to give people a chance to run and grab charger it's tough to say when it comes to batteries but we can say is that one plus a pro and hallway p40 pro that trading blows anyways time to discuss for this whole thing and let's talk about the results so in fifth place with the lymphocytes you knew that already but the time was six hours and 20 that falls very much into the good category impressive but they won't blow you away but if you did lower that refresh rate to 60 hertz you could potentially move it up another tier up was bought with p40 pro and this is a tier above this is bordering on the category that i would call very good battery life always done something good with the software considering this is a high resolution higher refresh rate panel and not the biggest battery even better as one plus a pro it's amazing where the stage where you can have 120 hertz on your smartphone and still get amazing battery life this is an example of that but then a tier above that the s20 ultra 8 hours and 19 minutes with 120 hertz on this is just exceptional battery life if you get the snapdragon version and then i'm hesitant to call it the winner here because of the train is using a different refresh rate but the ceiling used each fan on the default settings will comes on the box you probably get the absolute best battery life on the iPhone 11 Pro Max 8 hours 26 is a very very long time with continuous screen on usage if you personally see my full camera comparison check that out would be really really appreciated that being said yeah please subscribe and I promise to always give you the latest update thanks for watching see you on my next video